everyone, it's Di here with day four of the party favours. Look, I've got ink all over me today where I've been trying to get that my mossy meadow to work. So I'm not using it. I've got to go and buy a new one. Uh, it doesn't matter how much I ink it up, it just doesn't want to work. So never mind. Anyway, this is today's party favour. It's a little box like here. Oh, if I can open it. Here we go. And it holds two of these marzipan pralines that you buy from Aldi. Please don't ask me to buy any more because I will eat them all because I love them. I love marzipan. So, and it will hold two of those. So, you can pop two of those into a nice little box there and put this on the table as a nice little party favour. It looks like a little beanie. And it's just so cute. I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. So we're going to make this one. I'm going to make another one in the same colouring, except that I'm going to use um, pool party for my 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 words down the bottom here. But once again, you could put a person's name there if you wanted to use them as you know table settings, so that people know where they want to sit, where they're going to sit for the for the duration of their meal. So, but I just think they're gorgeous, and I love it, and I love the way that it just stands up on its own, and it doesn't take a real lot of anything to do so let's pop that out of the way and I'll tell you what you need which is not a real lot so for the hat itself you're going to need a, two pieces of one piece that measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths in some cardstock and a, the same size uh, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths in some designer series paper so and we're going to cut them out using the largest layering circle and the next size down so they can layer them on top of each other like so which i haven't done yet but i shall do that in a minute then you'll need pop that on one side um pop that on one side for a minute you will need two strips of paper card rather that measure three and i can't read that from that business three and three quarter inches by three quarters of an inch and two more in white that measure three and a half by half an inch. You'll need a piece for your pom pom. So I'm using this, and I've got my one and a half inch um, scallops uh, circle here that I'm going to use for that. Oh, I forgot a bit of. Oh no, here we go. I've got that. Um, and then for my snowflakes, I'm going to use this piece here, which is about two by four. It's a bit over, so that's why there's enough there. And I've got this snow shape flake punch, which is an old punch. It's not a stamping up punch, but it does what I need it to do. And then for the box itself, you need a piece of card that measures six and a half by three and a half. So let's get cracking, shall we? So let's, I don't know what I've got that bit for. I really don't. Never mind, we'll pop all these out of the way and what we're going to do first is we're going to glue these two pieces of ovals together. Making sure that you've got them quite even around there, like so. Now if you've got a directional pattern, make sure that you get your directions so that it's long ways on the oval. Like so, this way. And now what we're going to do is pop my thing in there. While they're stuck down like that, let's pop these bits in the rubbish bin out of the way and bring in our trimmer. And we can pop these back to back and up to each other like so. And I've got glue all over me. We're going to bring these in and we're going to pop them into our trimmer at the two and a half inch mark. So try and get them as even as possible. You can tr do, trim the whole lot at once. And bring it to this line here. And making sure that it's nice and flat. And we're going to chop that bit off the bottom. I went across it a few times to make sure. So we don't want those bits there. We want these pieces here. So that's our hat part these bits are rubbish can go in the bin and now we're going to bring in our pieces like this weird little pieces which is three and a quarter 
oh, three and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. We're going to round the corners on them. Oh, I think my round is getting probably a bit full. Do those bits and then we'll do these bits the same. done half of these off off camera I guess never mind it's not a very long project and that's the whole idea of these little favors there's something you can knock up a half a dozen or a dozen in an afternoon and they make a great idea okay so that's all they're all rounded now and what we're going to do is we're going to stamp these two white bits or if you're going to put your a name on them you can write on them you could put stamp on one side and write on the other if you wanted to so i'm going to stamp this merry christmas i've got here onto these So that's all the stamping we're going to do. So I'll pop them out of the way and then we're going to glue those onto our other pieces, which are called the, the brim, the brim of the hat. Oops, doesn't matter which way up at this present time. Come on, get on there nice and straight. <laughs> I'm I'm having troubles. That's what I always say to my dog. I'm having trouble. When she's around, this usually is trouble. That just had a piece that was hanging off the edge and I didn't like it. This one's got the same from the rounder, so I'm going to just trim that up a, a bit as well. So this has just got a tiny little bit there that I don't like the edge off. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this onto the bottom of this piece here. So we're going to put a bit of glue on the bottom of that one. And we're going to stamp it up and pop this down the bottom here like so. Once you're happy with how high it is, that's great. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this up against the back of the other one so that they are exactly in the right place the same. As each other and we're going to pop glue along the bottom of this one and pop this other saying on the back here so that it matches up with the one on the front so when they're standing like this back to front they're exactly the same so once we've done that while we've still got our glue piece off we're going to get our piece of card that we're going to punch out two baubles, two baubles, and we're going to pop these on the edge of the card like so. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bit of glue on the corner like so, add your bauble, turn it over, and pop the other one on top of it again, oops, there's a bit of fluff on the end of that so that they match up nicely and then put some more glue on this one now we don't we're not gluing these together we're just gluing them so that they match up and we can pop the other one on the top like so right so while they're sitting there like that we'll then pop our pin back in our glue because we don't need that for a bit and we will stamp out of punch out, let's see, making sure I've got this in the right spot, a couple of oh, that only got half of one, that was a bit dumb wasn't it, a couple of snowflakes which we will put a couple of small dimensions on the back of pop 
them into the middle of the pom pom, like so. Oh, itchy nose. And then we go, I've just got some gems here. There's just some ones I've got from the local shop. And pop one in each in the centre of the snowflake. That just finishes the front and the back of the card off, of the little project off. So we can pop them on one side for a bit. And now we can work on our other piece of card. Right, so what we need to do, and I've only got one board here, so I'm going to do it all on the one board. We need to score this at a half an inch. So let's move that blade out of the way. So we're going to score this at a half an inch. That's definitely the half inch mark, yes. On the long side, at one half, one and a half inches. Three and a half inches, and four and a half inches. Then we're going to turn to the short side, and we're going to score this at the so one inch mark. And the two and a half inch mark. Oops, I nearly cut that. Whoa, we would have been in trouble if I'd have cut it, wouldn't we? Okay, so now that we've got that all scored, you can see all the score lines on there. We can fold and burnish all these score lines. going to do is we're actually going to do a little bit of cutting on this so with our smallest one smallest score line at the top here on the right hand side we're going to cut down this score line here and here and notch them off I'm going to turn it around and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side going to score, cut down to the second score line on along this top edge and cut half of this piece away and then notch that side so we cut down to the second score line cut half of the second one away and notch that in then we're just going to notch this piece here. Now making sure, like in my case, I've got a little bit of the score line showing down this side, that we get rid of that score line. Otherwise it won't fit in the box. That, that fit together. Okay, well, that's our box. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to glue this all together nicely. like so. So we're going to put, put some glue onto the flaps in the centre here and we're going to bring up this front piece, not this back piece here, this front side and um, bring that up so that we can get them nice and square like so. Now the reason it doesn't matter that we're putting the front to the back or the back to the front is the fact that we um, are going to glue this around the back of the box. Now if we pop these on the inside, these don't fold down very nicely. That's why we've put them on the outside. So now we're going to put glue onto this section at the side here. Making sure we get it right in the corner. 
and bring that around and glue that into place. Just makes a tiny little box that's just great for these little chocolates. And then we do the same on the other side like so. And our little box is ready to use. See, our little flaps go in and the top flap comes over and inside like so. And it fits together just really perfectly. So while that's closed up nicely now, we'll bring back in our other pieces. And what we'll do is we're going to just pop a bit of glue onto the back of one of these. And holding it up straight, we're going to pop this into the middle of the card piece. So that it can be seen like so. So once it's standing up, I mean if you wanted to you could just do it like that. But I just think it looks nicer with the two. So then we're going to pop some glue on the back of this one, the other one. Let's pop the pin back in my glue. And bringing this one up, we're going to pop this on the back. And we can just line it up by going like this, making sure that it's nice and even and straight. And there we got it. There's our little box. We can open it up. Doesn't matter which way round we've got it. And we can pop our marzipan pralines into inside. It will hold two of those in there just perfectly. And close it up. And it's another little table favour. I think they're just so gorgeous. You can, these are great for the kids to take to school even you could put other kinds of chocolates in there I guess they're just the ones I like so I buy the ones I, I like eating um, not that I should be eating them I'm diabetic but never mind that's another story <laughs> but yeah that's our project for today I hope you've enjoyed it that's project number four we have one more to go so let me know what you think I hope you've been, you're enjoying my little party favours I think they are great for Christmas dinner. Something like this could be even good for a, you know, like a birthday party even. You could put happy birthday on them and make them into beanies if it's a winter birthday time. But that's today's project. If you want the, the, to catch up with the, the three prior, just go to Dyer's Dam for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. There you'll find the, party, uh, the Christmas f uh, table favour projects and all the instructions will be there as well. So I will see you again tomorrow with another one and the last one for, for the year. Bye. Oh, not of all the, all the projects, just of the party favour ones. Bye.